We shook it off, but we knew that that could have been a direct hit. New at four, a San Miguel firefighter who organized a history-making first responder mission to Ukraine is back in San Diego. He sat down with ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen and reflected on the dangers and his toughest day during the mission. You're looking at video of San Miguel firefighter Eric Hilly and 10 other firefighters combing through the rubble of a bombed out home outside Kiev, nearby the family of a missing father. They were emotional the whole time we were there and they were so grateful for us being there. Scenes like this played out over and over for Task Force Joint Guardian, Hilly's two week mission inside Ukraine. Calling on contacts in Ukraine, he and his friends got approval from the government for a first of its kind deployment of firefighters to a war zone. The nonprofit Direct Relief International funded the mission from airfare to search and rescue equipment. Assignment for right now is this building right here. For eight days, Hilly and his team, hailing from three different countries, worked outside Kyiv, distributing donated equipment and joining search and recovery efforts in apartment buildings and homes. His toughest day was the fifth day. After crews cut through the rubble, Hilly found the body of a man in his living room. Neighbors heard him screaming for days, but crews couldn't get to him because the area was under Russian control. Hours before that surge at the home of that missing father, the team recovered the necklace and watch he had been wearing. The heat of the blast made it impossible to locate his remains. And when we were able to at least hand them the watch and the part of the necklace we found, they broke down and cried. It hit us all hard. That's what we were there for. We were bringing closure to families. Hilly's team also spent four days in Kharkiv near the Russian border, less than two miles from Russian troops. They train Ukrainian firefighters who typically have no medical training. One day during lunch outside a fire station, a nearby blast. Loud explosion at, right next to the station. It shook the station. Hilly, a twice deployed army veteran, says during that incident, as well as with the constant air raid siren, he kept his focus on the mission at hand, a mission he plans to return to. I will be going back. There is a lot of work that needs to be done. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Hilly says Ukraine's interior minister called the group trailblazers, paving the way for other countries to send first responder help. As for Hilly's group, he's planning a second mission that will likely head out within a month. He will sit that one out, but says he will join on a future mission.